Our Earth's magnetic field is constantly in flux. This change in flux is not unusual and has been going around for many years. However, recent reports have uncovered a mysterious twist in this ongoing phenomenon. And guess what? NASA has also expressed its concern about this unusual happening. Scientists have confirmed that lower magnetic intensity stretches between South America and Southwest Africa. This weird phenomenon has significantly transformed the Earth's magnetic field, leading to a growing and splitting dent. So what is this anomaly called? And what could be the reason behind its occurrence? Can this anomaly affect life on Earth? Stay tuned with us to get your queries answered. Uncover the universe's fascinating secrets by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Also, don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated on our latest finds. Let's briefly look at how the magnetic field has been responsible for fostering life on Earth. So we all already know how powerful the energy particles emitted by the Sun can be. As a matter of fact, if there existed no magnetic field, our planet Earth would have been destroyed. So what is the magnetic field doing out here? Okay, here's a simple explanation. The magnetic field plays the role of a protective shield. And accordingly, this shield deflects high energy particles the Sun emits. Fellows, this is the reason we can have life on Earth. By chance, if this magnetic field disappears, it would take only a few seconds for our planet Earth to turn into present-day Mars. You don't have to worry, as this isn't going to happen anyways. But this is how the magnetic field is protecting our home planet. So from where have these supernatural fields originated? Remember that this is not a one-man army and involves several complex mechanisms. If we call out the MVP of this, we have to mention the geodynamo process. But this geodynamo process alone is not enough to foster life on Earth. If a planet wants to generate its magnetic field through this, it has to meet certain criteria. First of all, it must be able to rotate rapidly. Secondly, the presence of a conductive fluid in its interior is another must. Thirdly and most importantly, the planet should have an internal energy source to drive convection currents within the liquid core. Fortunately, Earth satisfies all of these rules and regulations. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, Thousands of kilometers down, there's a gigantic pool of super-hot liquid iron known as the outer core. As our planet spins, this liquid iron starts to flow, and as it moves, it creates something pretty unique. An electrical current. This current is like a loop, constantly flowing and generating a magnetic field around the Earth. And here's the cool part. This magnetic field produces even more electrical currents, which create additional magnetic fields. It's like a never-ending cycle of electricity and magnets deep inside the Earth's core. Earth's magnetic field is incredible, and this is why we are alive and living our lives to the fullest here. But this magnetic field isn't even at all the places on this planet. One specific anomaly that has been detected and fascinated scientists is the South Atlantic Anomaly. To understand this weird yet exciting phenomenon, let's start from the beginning. Imagine this a vast region stretching between South America and Southwest Africa, where the Earth's magnetic field is clumsy. You can take this as a straight road with a pothole in the middle. In short, the magnetic field between South America and Southwest Africa has a huge dent. What on Earth could be causing this bizarre occurrence? So, picture Earth's magnetic field as a protective bubble, shielding us from the cosmic chaos of charged particles and solar storms, it's like our planet's very own superhero cape. But in the South Atlantic region, this magnetic bubble has a weak spot with lower magnetic intensity than usual. It's like leaking your cape, not the best situation to be in. Now, what could be the cause of this strange occurrence? Well, the answer may lie deep within our Earth's mysterious magnetic field. Now, imagine these massive structures hidden beneath the Earth's surface, between the mantle and the outer core, they're called LLSVPs, or Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces. And there are two of them, the African LLSVP and the Pacific LLSVP. They're like the superheroes of the Earth's core, influencing everything from mantle convection to plate tectonics. The African LLSVP has been around for tens of millions of years, stretching across thousands of kilometers under Africa Picture it as a dense rock barrier chilling between the hot liquid iron of the outer core and the cooler, stiffer mantle. But guess what? This rock barrier can mess with the motion of the melted iron that generates magnetic fields. Here's where things get interesting. 
The velocity of the liquid iron in the outer core causes Earth's magnetic axis to tilt around 11 degrees compared to its rotational axis. It's like the Earth's got a cool magnetic lean going on. Unlike the geographic poles, which aren't known to alter, the magnetic poles like to fluctuate over time. But wait, there's more. Our Sun loves shooting charged particles and plasma, which head straight for Earth. Lucky for us, we have these nifty belts called the Van Allen belts that usually trap those particles and keep them at a safe distance. But the Van Allen belts can get supercharged when the sun becomes rowdy and throws an intense solar storm our way. They start dancing, twirling, and bouncing those particles back and forth along the magnetic field lines. It's a cosmic ballet. And here comes the plot twist. During these wild events, a localized field with reversed polarity can intensify within the South Atlantic anomaly region. Now here's where things get even crazier. In 2016, scientists discovered that the South Atlantic anomaly isn't just hanging out in one place. It's drifting in a northwesterly direction. Talk about taking a little field trip. But that's not all. Recent satellite data from the European Space Agency revealed that the South Atlantic anomaly is splitting into two separate cells. It's like witnessing the birth of a magnetic duo. Fortunately, according to recent findings, South Atlantic Anomaly has no impact on life. However, it will still affect the satellites and spacecraft sent into the Earth's orbit. Now picture this, satellites and spacecraft cruising through space, minding their own business. But as they venture into the South Atlantic Anomaly, things get a little... unpredictable. Why? Well, the weakened magnetic field in this region leaves these devices more vulnerable to the mischievous antics of charged particles from the Sun. It's like a cosmic game of dodgeball gone wrong. Satellites and spacecraft can experience severe short circuits and malfunctions. Even the trusty International Space Station has to be cautious when passing through this anomaly. Certain instruments outside the station, like the Global Ecosystem Dynamics investigation, can go a little out of control. And nobody wants a messed up jetty. To avoid catastrophe, operators must play it safe and shut down spacecraft systems before entering the anomaly zone. It's like taking a detour to avoid a cosmic traffic jam. Data loss and permanent damage to crucial components can be a real headache. So monitoring the anomaly is crucial. One important thing to remember is that the South Atlantic anomaly didn't appear a few years ago. Yes, the anomaly has been lurking around for quite some time. Astronauts and scientists believe the phenomena lasted for about 11 million years. Unbelievable, right? It's like the world's longest running magnetic show. This means it's not directly linked to Earth's magnetic field flipping, which happens way less frequently. NASA, our very own space superhero, is actively keeping a close eye on this magnetic troublemaker. They know the importance of understanding this strange phenomenon and how it affects our technological adventurers. We hope one day NASA will be able to conclude everything about this oddly satisfying phenomenon. Thank you for joining us today. Before we wrap up, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. And hey, ring that bell icon too, so you never miss an update from our cosmic adventures. We've got more mind-blowing space explorations coming your way. So, see you in the next ones.